Here, we'll both say hi, everybody. I'm three. <laughs> okay. One, two, three. Hi, hi everybody. everybody. Welcome back to the Elk Lodge podcast, the number one podcast in the world. Uh, today on the show, we have Julia Brown, who I met. Her sister married my cousin, and we hit it off at the wedding. She lives in L.A., and uh, so ever since then, we've been meaning to make this happen, and we finally did, and it's a lot of fun. Was, I knew you were going to love Julia. And I you know. Did. And you kept saying, like, we've got to have her over it. And I don't know. It kept being something we should do. And then finally, it's something we did. It was so fun. She was hysterical. You were right. Yeah, I loved she's her. Rad. She's quick. She's sharp. She's funny. I love sharp her. Sharp as a tack. My kind of girl. Downtown Julia Brown. Yeah, it was um, a treat. Yeah, it was a super treat. And as always, the Elk Lodge podcast is brought to you by Hexa Coffee. Uh, coffee roasted in the city of Chicago with beans sourced from all over the world. And uh, they're just experts over there. They know what they're doing. Uh, they roast their beans with passion. It's not some mm. corporate bullshit coffee. Like, this is the real deal. Made with love. Uh, they do have a cafe in the city of Chicago in Roscoe Village. And if you're not in Chicago, you can get it online at hexacoffee.com. That's H-E-X-E coffee.com. And, Christine, tell them about that deal. Mm. All you have to do is use promo code ELK at checkout, and you'll get 10% off your total purchase, whether that's beans, merch, or any of their awesome mugs, dishware, all that stuff. It's, it's really the good. dopest. It's the dopest. And without further ado, Julia Brown. I just put these new shoes on and they're fucking tight. That's nice. tight like they're cool or like they're, they're tight? Bo they're both. <laughs> both. <laughs> well, let me see them so I can at least verify one of the I don't even know if I them. like them. <laughs> okay. But I kind of like them. I like Are those the, Adidas? I like the pink. Puma. Oh, Puma. I know. I kind of, Puma. I have I only, know. I had one pair of Puma hand-me-down sneakers that my sister got and I always really liked them. They felt like rock climbing shoes. Mm. They were like... Just not your average Not your sneaker. average Puma. I think yeah. I got handed down some Pumas at some point. I felt like I was so fast. <laughs> I felt like I could run like a gazelle or like a Puma, you know? I like that. Hey, yeah. Too. Hey, Julia, so, welcome. Yeah, thanks thank for coming you. over. Is this your first time doing a podcast? Yeah. What an honor. It is. I feel this, like nervous all of a sudden. Oh, no. Oh, don't no. Because I can hear myself. I know. It's You yeah. get used to it. But get right up on the mic. That's the best best practices. Yeah. You can pull it closer if you want to. Live but, your um, ASMR dreams. I feel like this is a long time coming. We've been really trying to make this. I mean, you know. We didn't not try that. Not trying that. Hard. <laughs> but it's been talked about for maybe even a whole year. How long have you been in LA? June. Last June. And pretty yeah. much right when you moved here. No, I think it really went down at Claire's wedding. Jeff's wedding. No, but... So I know you because your sister married my cousin. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But when you moved here, Jeff hit me up and was like, Claire's sister moved there. Like, you should hit her up. Right, 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 right. And I got your number and I texted you and it was like, it just never came together. I don't remember it that way. I feel like Claire was like, here's his number. I and mean, you were like, nice. But I just feel like it was so weird because a lot of people did that. You know, when you first, when you move first there, moved they're here, they're like, oh, here, you know this person, you know this person. Right. And it's super awkward to be like, hey, stranger. <laughs> yeah. I like, know you're hey, cool, but. Hey, welcome me. Right. You know, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's like a play date. Yeah. It's kind of kind of, kind of set up. Mm. And a lot of people have done that with and I'm never see them again. Right. So I think it's best. You know, we chose the path of longevity. <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah. Like we didn't rush into it. Yeah. So, yeah. Then I finally met you at their wedding, which was like uh, in December. No, December. December. Beautiful ceremony. Or Gorgeous. we didn't see... I wasn't there for the ceremony, actually. But beautiful wedding. It was a lot of fun. It was fun. And, um, and yeah, we just fucking hit it off. I feel like we were bros from the get. <laughs> yeah. And then we were like, you should do my podcast. Yeah. And here we are. Where were you? I had a work event that night. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I was hosting our winter sing. I know. I wish... <laughs> She's like, I know, yeah, like, I know how that, that is not sounds. A good I know that that sounds. Well, we're at an age lame. where there's so many weddings, like oh, it's yeah. not possible. No, I, I can't go to, to every it. wedding she is invited to, and she can't go to everyone mm. I'm invited to. Like, it's actually, not that's incorrect. I'm not. I'm barely ever invited to weddings. It's oh. always his. He's got this large family. Like, there's so many people getting hitched, and yeah, I just uh, that was one of those events. I was like obligated to be a part of you know mm -hmm. but it sucks i hate missing stuff it seemed like a fun time 
I don't mind missing stuff. <laughs> no? I have like six weddings coming up and flights right now are like a thousand dollars anywhere you want to go mm. and then i gotta buy a hotel and then a dress yeah. and then they're like you want to get your hair and makeup done and i'm like no <laughs> but okay like, i'll You're bring like, a brush <laughs> you know christine said it's the wedding industrial complex yeah it's like i, I mean i there's didn't an in- come up with that oh to be clear. you were the first thing first time i heard it was from you <laughs> but yeah not. there's like a whole industry of like yeah like Love. hotel get your hair done like bachelor party is in vegas we got to fly there we got to get hotels like there's an entire yeah. industry with I mean, around, it's like around holidays too you know like easter is so you know halloween we consume all these de- decorations and costumes and candy and like yeah. things we consumerism is everywhere right. everywhere including then, weddings. oh big time big, big time weddings. big time huge big huge 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 <laughs> that's why i'm like where what can i sell people to make money. You know, mm. people will buy fucking anything. You just got to convince them they need it. That's mm-hmm. true. And I haven't decided what it is. I started making pickles, though, so. Oh, shit. Hold I've on. been wanting to do that. I was going to bring them tonight, and I was like, that might be kind of weird. Oh, it wouldn't have been but weird. But it would have smashed. Oh, we would have welcomed. They're fucking great. So, let's wow. talk about it. You're doing the, the little, like, ball jar thing? Yeah, just get a jar. You get some cukes. Chop them up. Vinegar. And you can put whatever the fuck you want in there. <clears throat> and then you make the brine. What's the brine? It's like sugar that? and vinegar? Vinegar, water, salt, a little bit of sugar. Heat it. Don't okay, boil. Okay, like in a pot? Yeah, you just, just get want it, it to like kind of dissolve, but you don't boil. Okay. And then you like top off the jars, let them cool, put them in the fridge, and the next morning you can eat them. The next morning it's a pickle. Mm-hmm. Mm. And then the longer they sit, you don't want them like three months later, but like, I mean, I just made them this weekend, so. So good. <laughs> wow. Yeah. And this is your first batch? First batch, very successful. I took one to work every day this week, and I was like, I write, I wrote on the jar like whatever I made. I was like, this is the spicy Mexican German one, and they're like, what the fuck? Oh, I don't know. They're dank. Oh, you made a bunch, I so you had different jars, that. and in each of them, it's like, yeah. So it's always the brine, but then maybe like a little mustard, oh. a little garlic, or a little cilantro. Oh. There's some ranch powder in one. Oh my! Hot sauce. Hey now. Jalapenos. Because we're we're obsessed with Ooh. like jardinier, you know, mm-hmm. like hot peppers and pickled shit pickled yeah. shit and pickled then shit's the we were at a restaurant so recently and we were like we should start pickling shit literally mm-hmm. do it it's so easy yeah all right i want so i easy. want the I it always leads to one more yeah, thing please. on the wish list though in the kitchen for me because then it makes me want um what is it a julian that does like the or the the little i don't know so like i forget finally what, yes i want like Ju- one of those yeah. the julian i think sure. and okay. i want like my hair it's so thin oh, you know did i knock your phone into your lap too Sorry. no i just like don't know what my hair is doing so oh. Look one. Hair check. Should we have both hair out? I don't know. I'm listening. Both hair out. Hair behind the ears. Oh, there you it go. works either way. Honestly, you can't go wrong. What's the Julian? Thin. It's like thin slices of your veggies, so that if you pickle them, it's just like a oh. really beautiful shape and oh. absorbs more flavor because it's so finely cut. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I want. I want that in my life. Yeah, we gotta get to pickling. <laughs> yeah, you don't even need Nothing one of those around. pickle. You're right. Are you still doing the same stuff for work? Mm-hmm. You're working for a plastic surgeon mm-hmm. in Beverly Hills. Yeah. And what do you do? Like, what's that like? Doing the social media, filming surgeries, filming Botox, filming and, surgeries. Yeah, and just like editing videos. Are you kidding me? Have you like have you always had a stomach for that? No, like I started it in Dallas. After I moved, I was living in Germany, and then I moved back, and I just applied, and I got this job. And I was like, I'm going to need to do like a walkthrough interview. Let's see if I can handle it. Because I've heard, you know, shit's just being filleted and out. And the smell Filet. of burning skin is a smell that <gasps> I can't even describe. Oh, my God. Like cauteri- cauterizing is Ew. a scent. Yeah. Ew. Cauterized. Yeah. I don't know. So you're, you've gotten wow. a little Anyways. used to it. Oh, so yeah. And I walked in, in and I was like, yep, I can do this. I can do this. Wow. Yeah. Mm. Is it kind of like. I mean, it must be fascinating. Yeah, I'm over it now just because I'm pretty much got my PhD. So, no, wait. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Well, what I was do you thinking, mean? like, what's the <laughs> other doctor? Like MD? Yeah, no, my MD, not my PhD. I'm not a physician. Yeah. Is this a literal MD that you're no. giving? Or like you're just saying you've had so much experience <laughs> yes. that you, you're an expert I'm now. a doctor. You're a doctor. <laughs> if I needed plastic surgery, how good do you think you would do? I mean, like if we were on a plane and someone needed an emergency breast dog, I could do it. You could, could do you, it. Could you suture, you think? Oh, yeah. Oh, That'd be man. the easy part. Mm. Yeah. It's, I, 
I don't think I could. My favorite is just like if you open up my phone, it's just it's fucked. Yeah, and <laughs> so many people are so grossed out by shit, and it just yeah, it's weird to me that some people like can't stomach the yeah. inside really, of a human body. And to me, I'm like, it's cool. It's like anatomy. It's I like yeah. certain. I like the drawings of anatomy. <laughs> I don't like. I don't like the appearance of fat. That like, that yellow mm-hmm. fat. It's like curdled it's kind of. <laughs> Yeah. I don't love that. Like, I think I would rather see. <laughs> blood. Right? I'd rather see the blood than like that fat. But there's not even a lot of blood though, because well, like they give you drugs that like stop you from profusively bleeding, right? Mm. Because it what like uh, I don't know the cauterizes. Is that n- even the no no no? I don't but know. Like, it, like, it, I don't, like probably slows it, your it, like, blood slows pressure down. a little bit. Yeah, so you like can you know, like if you were to get cut, much. normally you just bleed. Spew but blood. on this, it's like <laughs> yeah. So there's not as much blood. It's weird. I think um, the different areas of the body that I've seen the skin being lifted off, that's been the most interesting. Oh, God. I think the craziest surgery I've seen was a labiaplasty. Which is? Trimming the labia. (laughs) The vagina lips. Yeah. Yeah. That was wild. And that was hard to watch. Because it's like, ha, like the whole time you're like, yay. mm -hmm, Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Wow. Is that like, do they, there's the like thing. no loss of um, feeling down there, like sensation after you have that Apparently surgery? Apparently not. I find that hard to believe. Do you feel a lot in the labia? I mean, there's certainly nerve ending. Well, I guess not. I don't know. There's it's most just of like, no, it's, yeah, I don't, no, yeah, it's I like don't, tissue, really. Yeah. Right. I mean, you can feel it, but I don't feel like, I'm I like, ooh, not, yeah, yeah, you know? Like you're hitting huh. that labia. Right. <laughs> Get it. Get it. <laughs> 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 right and it's also okay, just so crazy enough. to me i think i really like learned to i mean i've always been like okay confident but i just think it like taught me so much about like i'm good with myself you know Ooh, just seeing that. this oh. because there's so many people who are not mm-hmm. at all you're like thank god yeah I'm that is like happy that's and such a good takeaway it taught me a lot yeah and i mean i can't tell you how many times for the body surgeon previously, there'd be women laying on the table, and I'm like, shit, I'd pay money to look like you, the way you currently look, and you're about to have something done. Mm. And then they do it, and it's not always... And that's when it's, like, up here, right? And so I will say the doctor I work for currently, he requires, like, a psych evaluation for certain people if he's kind of like... "Mm," You know what I mean? Mm, I like that. Which is good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, it feels like... uh like a tough thing like once you start it's almost like when your hairline's not right so you trim this a little bit but then oh no not that one's too short and now like next thing you know like you're bald you're bald <laughs> or like like you know, tattoos you're bald and got no labia yeah you know? like tattoos once you start people find it hard to stop yeah, yeah exactly yeah yeah it's interesting i'm glad that that's your takeaway because when you first like described your job i was like damn i, I wonder like, how that is to work in like Beverly Hills alone is an intimidating place yeah. to be a woman. Like walking through the streets, it's like I mean, I, I don't know. It's not like I'm like, you know, <laughs> up in there like that. It's but there's, I don't, I don't know. I'm, I'm not. I don't feel sad for people who yeah. want to do it. I think it's a great outlet. I think there's always those cases where there, there's people who are like, if I could tweak this one tiny little thing, mm-hmm. it would be life changing for me. And that's when you're like, damn, good Go, for you. Yeah, get yours. But it's. At the end of the day, it's all kind of fake, and mm-hmm. yeah, I n- not to talk bad on it, you know. No, I mean, it's just it's not for you. I mean, I've yeah. definitely got my Botox done. It's worn oh, yeah? off right now, but have yeah. you? Yeah, and I have See, had my lips done like three times. I'm scared of the Botox. I've been, Don't be. I what do you do with I the Botox? Though. What do you mean? So you you've gotten Botox? Oh yeah, like my whole forehead, like my eyes. Because why? Like, Shit was looking wrinkly or something. They say it's preventative, right? And so like, so you just got to get it if you start to have wrinkles uh-huh they're gonna sit and then like as you age they're right. just gonna get worse but if you if they aren't because botox essentially like freezes your muscles right okay and so like i get it in my um jaw muscles as well so think about it like you know if you, you're at the gym and you're like pumping iron you're gonna get bulky if you stop it's gonna get smaller right. so like here if you can't like chew as aggressively or like grind your teeth kind of oh. so then it'll like slim your face because that muscle shrinks hmm up here, it like just allows you not. You still can move. I don't know. 
The jaw one is interesting to me because we both actually have like some jaw issues and I have TMJ really bad and I Girl. get tension headaches all the time and I've never found anything that Girl. was the remedy and I'm like, maybe if Girl. I could just chill out. Swear, changed my life. People Botox. do the armpits too, right? To stop from sweating. Mm -hmm. That's like wow. the, the red carpet trick. I knew that one. So Botox is Back like in the days when I used to be really sweaty and <laughs> insecure about that. But sure. fortunately, I grew up and like learned to- I learned to accept my sweating. I learned- <laughs> <laughs> to find the right antiperspirant sure. for I me. To accept myself, accept myself. <laughs> um, I'm yeah, so that's scared. I'm gonna laugh the... and spit my drinks. So oh, I go won't, for but... it. Spit. <laughs> um, yeah, that's interesting with the jaw. Like, it's to crazy. Because get... yeah. I guess I didn't realize Botox, like what it actually did. I just mm -hmm. know it's like, oh, like chicks get it to like right. look better. But I don't know what it's doing. No, it really. So is it's like... just like freezing your muscles. It just like prevents it from like working. It basically paralyzes yeah. the muscles it's injected oh. into and actually like can in rare occurrences create other problematic well, of things course. like i had a I'm friend sure. in indy who was hospitalized like in intensive care due to complications from her botox injections and she was like a regular like habitual botoxer for a long time well, what happened? Oh, just one went one time went bad it wasn't like it went bad. I think it went like into her bloodstream or something in a way that it wasn't supposed to. And yeah, she was really sick and almost died. Like her, I think she was even in sepsis at one point. Like things were really bad. And then, yeah, I just remember her being overwhelmed with medical bills. And I it's mean, like, damn. It's a toxin. Like it's. Yeah. So it's scary. But I mean, it's, I don't know. We do crazy riskier things all the time, but. I don't know. There's something in my mind. I just I got get you. weary. But I, I also am like, but well, this has got to go. <laughs> you mm -hmm. know? No, but so, you're, you're now you're talking know. about your 11. I don't know what's going to win. Like, I where? See. Oh, if you only Here's get one shot, thing. where's it going? No, I mean, like, am I going to be like, you know, just. You're going to do yourself. it? Accept how I look? Age or gracefully. Do I get rid of forget where you live. You don't go to Hollywood. But uh, no, I don't know. Where do I just poke it? Prick it up? I don't know. I vote. Poke it. Wow. Trick it up. But I don't... I was going to say, I don't know if I would send you to my place because it's pretty expensive. Mm. <laughs> yeah. I know. And then I was thinking you about that too. Amazon yeah. or something? So I do everything so cheap. I'm like so frugal. But this is something you don't want to do cheap. That's what I'm Because you're going to end up like your friend. Exactly. And they're like, my friend recently was like, just don't go on like a Groupon, you know, like look for somebody and... And that's again. That would be comforting. What? We are in the city for it. I think this is yeah, why I've right stayed place. in the right place. in this industry, though, is because I'm like a little bit hooked on that, and I like don't mm -hmm. think I can afford it otherwise. Mm -hmm. Oh, right? you hooked up a little bit. Yeah, you got a discount, mm -hmm. right? So Isn't well, it you something see though, it, you, you see it creeping in. You're like, oh, it's been like, two months. Look at this <laughs> shit. Why can I, I why can I raise my eyebrows <laughs> yeah. this much? You're like drawing with a marker. Yeah, literally. What's the Oh, what the fuck was I going to say? It's like, so. Oh, so do you have to get it like, yeah, like repeatedly, yeah, yeah. you know, because yeah. that kind of makes me Three to not want to start doing something like that. Because Same. it's like, it's, it's like a guy wanted to trim my eyebrows one time and I was like, like he was shaving my hair. He's like, you want me to do something about those eyebrows? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I was like, what? Like, no. <laughs> and so anyway, but then I, then I obviously like was looking at them in the mirror, like, but I just feel like once I start doing that. Now I'm doing that forever. Eyebrows are risky. You know, it's risky. like that Seinfeld episode of like shaving yep. your chest. Like you're... And then you have like the thinnest yeah, eyebrows. Yeah, they're all covered. Exactly. Like, like, and you're like... Drawing them on. <laughs> they start like right over here. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Don't fuck with your eyebrows. Yeah, though. the eyebrows. That was... Mm -mm. Yeah. No. But yours are funny. Your, your eyebrows are dramatic. Like once I saw one of his hairs and it was like two, three inches long. Right. I'm it, like, like, started here, how did it, was, it yeah. go it like that? It was intertwined all the way to here, and it was like, when she pulled it out, it was like that long. Like, it was the insane. whole, it ran the whole fucking thing. I just didn't understand. I, uh, yeah, oh, I would have never man. seen it. It was disguised in there. Mm. So Are funny. the people totally knocked out when you're filming them always? I mean, not on Botox. and like So there's like a mm. med spa, which is like the medical spa, where mm. the Botox and the fillers and the facials and all that happens, and then the surgery, yes. And they've obviously agreed they have to, to sign a consent. Yeah. I forgot to turn off the teeth. Um, hmm. Okay. So you're never like, hi, like, I'm I mean, Julia, I'm just going to get a couple. Well, that's the thing is, is, cool? is like, they, I am, you know, it's never pressuring people because obviously someone's there, they're going to pay a lot of money to get something done. And if they don't want to do it, they don't have to. But there sure. is a sense of like, 
go schmooze them mm. and i'm so awkward at that because you can tell right away if someone's like no you can tell if they're leaning on it and if mm. they're like yeah great let's do it and there's some people who are like i want to do it i want to do everything i'm gonna i'm gonna be on i'm gonna be famous and i'm right, like right no you're gonna get like 400 views on youtube maybe when i finish this video in six months maybe right, right, right. <laughs> um but you sort of ha end up having but, to kind of sell them on that yeah sometimes. i'm supposed to go in and chat with them mm. So it's not just on the form, like, and like, if you want to I mean, be, it can like, be, it, but yeah, a would, lot of the times hope. I'm yeah. expected to go in and, you know, talk mm. it up and I would hate that. I hate it. And I then like it's that. like, but have, you're, you're so outgoing and I just, yeah, but I'd like, I just like, I'm, I'm not like a salesperson. Like I do think I, I just don't, I don't know. It feels tacky sometimes. I, I could understand. I'm you not know, a great like, salesperson either. It's also a weirdly personal, I mean, you're literally seeing the inside of their skin. Right. Like that's intimate. Right, and not even that. I think, I think, just, yeah, like Rachel, labia girl. All yeah. Right. Um, yeah, when they're snipping that, yeah, you're gonna be fully spread, and I'm gonna need a before and after. Do you want me to do the camera will start at the light, it'll come down. We see your labia, yeah, yeah, falling on the floor, and then I'll pan oh, up, yeah, and fade right. into like a haircut. Oh my god! Right. And then the skin is just like on the table, and I'm like, yeah, yeah. Oof. that's the shot. That's the shot. That's the shot. Mm -hmm. And you do the yeah. editing too. Yeah. What do you edit in? What program? Uh, I mean, I mix between like Final Cut Pro and Premiere. You mix between. But I prefer um, not the Adobe, the Final Cut. Final Cut. Yeah, cool. just easier. Even though like I'm, you, I'm pretty friendly with most Adobe softwares, but for some reason that just is not for me. Not the one. The one. Then I also have a lot of apps. Like a lot of apps. There's great apps. I'm not going to tell my secrets because I believe that if people want. You do your research. Okay. No lie. <laughs> hey, Google that shit, all it's right? It's not hard. Like, it's not like... But you don't use the same software every time. Sometimes you'll do it on an app on your phone. Sometimes you're in Premiere. Sometimes you're in Final Cut. Because sometimes I'm editing it in the operating room, and I'm, like, not allowed to sit down to where... But it's... Ex it's, it's oh, you, know. you got, like, time to kill. Like, I'm, I'll just start... Yeah, and sometimes this. I'm, like, oh, I'm really into this project today, and I want to make it beautiful. And yeah. I'm, like, sure. you know, I've got my gimbal out, and I'm, like, ooh, we're doing nice shots. And sometimes it's, like, <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. You know, the mic's plugged in, but it's not actually working mm -hmm. or on or... Been there, done Trial that. and error is just... So you got just, everybody mic'd up and stuff, too, huh? Um, yeah, like, I have one of the wireless ones. Mm -hmm. Um... And that's been a game changer. It's recording separately somewhere, or it's all like it's going to be baked into the footage. It's in the footage. It's in the footage. Yeah. The the microphone. Yes. Cool. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah. It's so fun. like, how'd you how'd you get this job? You said you were doing something like this in Dallas, and then yeah, you like just I literally in. just did it. That's where I you just, grew up in Texas. Mm-hmm. I just yeah, like uh, I was living in Germany as an au pair, which mm -hmm. we can get into after. I would love to, yeah. Um, yeah, and then I moved home, and I was like, shit, I got to get a job. I don't know what I want to do. And I mean, I went to school for graphic design, so like I studied art, I like making stuff, and I don't love spending a lot of time on projects unless I'm like, I really want to. So kind of social media for me was like, I mean, it sounds so lame. I don't even like to say social media. Like, you know what I mean? Uh, content creative media, yeah, yeah. sure. Mm -hmm. I know what you mean, though. Um, but I like a quick project almost. Right. You know? It's like a bunch of little things yeah. going out. Yeah. You're never like, spending like too long on one yeah, thing. Yeah. Like, and sometimes I spend too much time on one little thing, but yeah. that's fun. Um, sure. My mind so, is very similar. Yeah. And I do social media management. Yeah. That's like. Yeah. You're just like, mm -hmm. let's, let's, this is fun for now. And then you're done and you can, then you go back and look at it. And sometimes you're like, that was dope. Sometimes I'm like, get it out of here. Right. Yeah. You're like, fuck. Next. I use that song. Two, two days ago. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. God. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, do you do the, like, you know, TikTok shit, too? Or are you just putting up, like, a video you made? Or or is it, like, you know, you're trying to... I don't like, know. Like, I feel song, like there's but... an influence with that, you know, there's something... For a while there, I was, like, focused on, like, quick eye-catching. And then I've, like, shifted to, like, fuck that. Like, everyone's trying to get catch your eye and... I'm like, I'm more focused on like, how can we make it aesthetic and artistic and also fast, but you know what I mean? Hmm. Create movement or whatever. So that's what I'm on right now. Cool. Nice. We'll see. But I'm also forced to be like, add this pop song to it. Right, right, right. Which is fine. Yeah. It's great that TikTok lets you use like popular songs in your videos and shit. And that Instagram lets you do that too now. Cause like uploading a YouTube video 
it's uh like you'll get like a copyright strike or something mm. if you're using a song that doesn't belong to you but like I tiktok mean, you built it like into their whole program you want. sure but i'm just saying for an editor it's kind of nice to be yeah. able to use that shit it is cool and so how many years were you in an au pair in germany one year one year <clears throat> i always wanted to do that oof where'd you go I mean, I know Germany. But Munich. Nice, Munich. Like this, so. All right. We're, we're trying to get out there this summer. Yeah, Which, we're what going can to... we expect? Yeah. A lot of Germans. <laughs> <laughs> well, so, I, I mean, how did this people. even start? You're like, you uh, graduated my, college. My sister did it. Um, my mom lived there for a little bit. It was that phase. I think I was like 25, turning 26. And I just hit a point where I was like, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Like, I know what I like to do, but I don't know what I'm doing. If I get any older. Also, you, in Germany, 26 is the oldest you're allowed to be an au pair. So I was like, huh? I got to do this. Wait, excuse me, what? Like legally? You it's can't not... be like an old lady mm -mm. nanny? That's no, because like, old pair just bullshit. a nanny? It, it means nanny, but it's like, you're, it's essentially like, the whole point of it is to culturally, Sounds culturally, like an yeah, yeah, like you come, you teach them English and you get to see the city, right? And travel and whatever. Hmm. Um, it was interesting experience. I kind of had a little bit of a horror story. I don't know where to put that. Is that okay? Yeah. yeah. So you can put it wherever. Okay. Um, yeah, I met a family online. There's like a whole website. Cinco de Mayo. I just like yeah, the sound. Mayo. Yeah, yeah, it's good. <laughs> Cinco de Mayo. Um, I meet a family online. Um, and it kind of happened fast. You know, we like Skype, meet the kids. Great. They like me, buy a ticket, go, boom. The mom was a lawyer. And to do it, you have to do a, like a basic level of German class. Um, and she was like, don't worry, just come out here. And, you know, Americans get a three-month travel visa. She was like, come out here, we'll get you that course, and then we'll sign up for your um, au pair visa on three months, so then you can stay a year in three months. I was like, dope, let's do that. <laughs> um, the very end, I finish, I got an A-plus in the course, I'm ready. The very end, I'm taking their dog on a walk. And it got hit by a car and it died. Oh God! Yeah, it the was, dog did. Mm -hmm. And like I, it was a big dog. They made they made me take it to this big field, and um, I had been there with it before, but he just like wouldn't listen to me. And they're like, take him off the leash, throw the stick. I throw the stick. He gets the stick, and there was like this very tall grass, and very far is a road. On the other side is a guy rollerblading with his dog. The dog sees the dog and he takes off, and it's like a road taking a turn uh -huh. and I can see the trajectory of the dog oh God. and I'm like, fuck, 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 fuck. And I'm like, I don't know what, what do you do? He hits him and I'm like, fuck. And I had the car. So the mom drives on the bike, rides the bike in the rain to come meet me. It was awful. It was literally the it was most trauma. Raining too. Mm. Fuck. Literally the most like traumatizing day this ever. Is after the three months or after the year. And this three is months? right before the three months. This is right before they're about to get my visa approved. Right. Right when you get there. Or no. No, this is three months in. Three right. months in. You did the course. Two and a half months in, I see, right? <laughs> and I'm like, they're like, we're going to have to let you go. You know, we'll give you two weeks. And I was like, will you still approve my visa? No. I go no. to the visa. Were they super pissed? Like, they were pissed. They were let down, of course. I mean, I get it, but. Right. I mean, but they were also following their instructions to let the dog off the leash. And it was also like the worst day of my life. Like I love dogs so much. Oh my gosh, yeah. Never horrible. ever. Like oh, I yeah, still to this day see that moment where I'm like, mm. my phone was in the car and the dog got hit and I was like, do I go to the dog or do I go get my phone? And I was like, fuck. Just, you know, oh, awful. My God. Also keep in mind, I don't speak fucking German at this point. Yeah. Even like bare minimum. And so the police are there and they're yelling at me in German and German's a very like aggressive. <laughs> yeah, everyone's yelling in German. <laughs> yeah, everyone's pissed. And <laughs> I was like, um, damn it. Anyways, I'm like, will you still approve my visa? She's like, no. I go to the like, I don't know what it's called, like the DMV, whatever. And I'm like, here's my paperwork, blah, blah, blah. And they're like, we can't give you a visa because you've been illegally working in the country for three months. <laughs> so i met a dude on tinder and i moved in with him for like two and a half weeks <laughs> great yeah and then i got another family and i <laughs> essentially got a refugee visa and i wasn't allowed to leave the country 
oh. for the remainder of my stay. So you kept working illegally, but with no, no, no. Lucky- I like stopped working for like a month. Yeah. Got a new family. Right. And then when I went to go reapply, that they were like, "No, you can't leave the country, but we'll give you a ref. You can stay and work, but you can't leave Germany." Wow. I did on like a train, but the problem wouldn't have been going to other countries. It would have been coming back because Germany is pretty. Germans are pretty. They're very like thorough by the book. <laughs> like yeah, like you don't jaywalk even. Like mm. yeah, and I got a ticket for smoking weed once. And Mun- like Berlin is like cool weed. Right. Out, not Munich is like Dallas to Austin, kind of. Mm. You know what I okay, mean? Yeah. It's like a little noted. Do not Good smoke to weed know. in Munich. Great. Smoke I mean, I think it's changing now since then. In Munich, yeah. yeah, got it. Yeah. Anyways, it was a wild, wild experience. Wow. wow. Yeah. And you get with mm. the second family, and you're with them for like a year ish. Um, the remain. I mean, it was like six or seven months. And okay. I mean. Also fucking crazy. <laughs> just because like you're in you're a foreign just, place, it's just like just you're so. essentially a slave almost. Like you're literally making like two euros an hour. They buy your food and whatever. There's no set hours, even though they try. You know, I've heard horror stories. Like I knew a girl who their family took her passport and like God. just crazy shit. And like Ooh. that's not everyone. I also knew a girl whose family bought her uh, her own. She had her own apartment downtown. Cool. And like could go there on the weekends, and then I'm like, that's awesome. yeah, that's, that's the amazing. family. Yeah, that's yeah, the lotto. Did yeah. you have a like? All right, it's 8 p.m. Like the kids are asleep. Like I'm going out, or like this is totally yeah. my time now. Yeah, but it was just weird because then I'd come home, like the house is so quiet, and mm-hmm. the second mom, the second family was a single mom. Um, and I shared a floor with the two kids, and I just felt guilty every time, like coming home, and I'm like. And I'm like right. drunk and I want to go to the kitchen and get a snack. And I'm like, she didn't, she didn't buy food. She bought the kids food. It was just weird. It's so weird. And it was so uncomfortable. I mean, it's, it's already so, in general, you, like weird to be in somebody else's family that closely that yeah. like personally, especially like in a position of servitude. Sure. Add that. And yeah. then you add like the cultural exchange factor, which is, you know, gotta be pretty hum- like jarring yeah for sure it's a great experience i recommend doing it but it's really really weird and you're gonna learn a lot about yourself and like your boundaries and you know what i mean and mm-hmm. like that's a good do i have do. boundaries and mm-hmm. how do i set them mm-hmm. right had you traveled much before that yeah i mean my family had like gone to italy and france when i was younger and mm. we'd been to budapest and but not alone like that yeah mm. yeah i've never uh traveled like by myself like that and like you know and not met up with someone who i knew on the other end i have but like not abroad yeah it's awesome though there's something really cool about like going alone when you were finally leaving germany were you like oh like no i was like it's over um no i was like at that point i was like speaking german and i Mm. had friends and i was like i want to stay and i was like i'm not going back to that visa place and i try to apply for jobs and kind of struggle with that and i was i was almost back in the same place i was when i wanted to go there i was like i don't know what i'm doing and then i'm back and i'm like no i don't know what i'm fucking doing Mm -hmm. and then i got into plastic surgery (laughs) crazy 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 your german's still pretty good nine (laughs) okay i mean it's better when i'm drunk because you know you don't and care. if you were in like a German we went, a bar in Germany, yeah, you'd like probably be if, all right. so if I like see, hear someone speaking German, I'm like German. German, I'm like, hey, what's up? Like uh-huh. in German, yeah. Well, actually, there's, yeah, there's no equivalent to hey, what's well, up. There is, but ah, guten Tag. Yeah. Hello, hello. Wie geht's dir? Oh my God, we've got like two little sisters that are from like the, they're like speak Swiss German. They're at so the school cute at the school. Oh. And um, so I I do like. I work in their communications department. Um, But every once in a while, I'll help actually with like the after school program if they're short on teachers and stuff with the pre-K classes. And the other day, like her English was the best I've ever heard it. And I heard her making jokes with her classmates. I've never heard her talk to anyone. It made my day. I was so happy. She was straight up joking with 
her little buddy just getting more and more comfortable and and she was like she responded to me in a way she's like never like i complimented her shorts and she's like thank you like so sweet wow she like hit her stride she knew like exactly what i was saying it was so awesome because this i mean what it's may it's almost the end of the year but it's just so cool to see how fast people can acclimate i mean especially kids like they pick up languages. Yeah. Like one of the the families, the girl, the little girl was five and she spoke three languages. Wow. Right? English, German, and? Um, Bulgarian. Bulgarian. Yeah. Yeah, kids are the best like that. Yeah. Spongy. There was one day in my, uh, another preschool class and we were like, all the kids were playing outside and this new family was starting and they, both of the parents were there to like walk through the school and kind of check it out with their daughter, Banu. And she was from Spain. And again, she spoke like several languages, but English she wasn't really one of them. But I just always, I'll always remember because right away, like all the kids were playing a coyote game and they were like crawling around and howling like coyotes. And she just like dropped in formation and started howling. And I was like, this is so cool. Like, Fascinating. Yeah, oh that's, my like, God. that's like National Geographic. <laughs> I know. Shit. Wow. It was just so cool. I'm like, Wow. Just such a resilient little child. It's just like, okay, I get it. I get it. It's cool, though. It's like, you know, dogs, like no matter where the dogs are from or what, like if they see each other and one goes like, like they're like, oh, like (laughs) we're playing. And the other one goes like, like, you know, it's like they're speaking. (laughs) That was such a good impression. (laughs) Yeah, that back and forth. Sitting down is hard. (laughs) But, um, (laughs) you know, like. They speak the same like language of like fun and like play. Like where is that in? It's like in their DNA or something. It's just cool to know that like it's the same for us, Mm -hmm. especially when we're kids because we're like less, you know, like inhibited, bogged on. Yeah, Yeah. less inhibited. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Um, yeah, fascinating. Yeah, it's cool. Wow. So I haven't. I, I don't have a lot of experience like not being able to speak the language around me we went to india once and that was kind of like the only time i was truly like jarred because when you know i speak a little spanish it's not like Mm -hmm. shocking when i'm somewhere like i can figure spanish out you know so Mm -hmm. i don't know but it is it's a super it's a particular kind of vulnerability that's also wild because it's like not only do you not speak the language but they know you don't because you don't look like you know what i mean you don't look like you're comprehending right and it's like in germany like like, i could be german right no one and i'm like (laughs) blankly Uh nodding yeah well it's also like there's it's a slightly similar culture you know it's western culture like Mm -hmm. europe germany the u.s canada even a lot of south america is like we're still a pretty shared culture Mm -hmm. but like that's a Eastern whole. culture. India felt, to me, at least, this was like, wow, this is like the most, you know, foreign experience I've ever had. Because like I've been to like Argentina, Peru, like it's different. Or like, you know, and like so many places all over the U.S. Like they're different, but they're also not that yeah. different, mm-hmm. you know. But then, yeah, India was like, wow, this is this is really different. Yeah, the language really cool. is like, and the yeah, the type, everything is just so like i can't recognize any of it you know there's yeah. nothing familiar about yeah. it at all yeah nothing i can use for context like yeah even like french or italian words there's a lot of things that are like in popular culture or thing i don't know yeah mm-hmm. yeah so it's interesting but i don't i don't nerd out on that stuff often but it is cool to like learn the origins of root and like the roots of words and how sometimes they're all shared and i always get kind of excited when i'm like oh that's the same for sure the same word for sure you know or, <laughs> yeah i don't know it's you're talking about like a spanish word that's like yeah a, or like you know there's a cognate uh, i believe is the mm, term there you go thanks because mm. that saves me from trying to think of an example on the there spot i was a cognate there you go you just do a i love cognates but thanks. then there are <laughs> there are false cognates <laughs> Where it does sound the same, but it's not the same meaning. You're not going to want to say For example. Embarrassada. Embarrassada. Ah. Meaning. In, you, would, you would assume that means embarrassed. It means pregnant. Oh. She's, so people go to like I'm Spain and they're like, oh, like, estoy embarazada. Like, lo siento. And they're like. Pass the wine. And what? Then like, like uh, you're bitch. pregnant? You know, like, yes. Yeah, <laughs> so there are, there are, it can trick you too. The false cognate. 
That was that's like the only example I know. I guess that's the one they use in school. It, all the time. I know that one. I, I could a, picture that one too. Same curriculum. We grew up together. We so, did you know, same school system. Same curriculum about oh, you the did? false cognates. Yeah, mm-hmm. so we went to school Tejas? from like third grade till. Are you wait Chicago college Chicago? I forget. Shit, I forget. Okay, yeah. where, where did you guess? Texas. Texas. Oh, Texas. Cause, uh, yeah, but I forget about Jeff's. Right, Jeff was like the anomaly. Or yeah. Jeff is the anomaly in our family that like we're mostly a Chicago based mm-hmm. squad. Mm-hmm, but mm-hmm. Jeff would be in either Dallas or California throughout his life. That Jeff. That Jeff, always running around. He's crazy. He's great. And it He's was cool, best. too, because like whenever... Uh, it was like I wouldn't see him often, but anytime Jeff's in town, it's like, Jeffrey's here. You know, it's like exciting. And so it was like... Your family's uh, really good at that. Yeah, I don't know. It, it was... I didn't see him as much, but I feel just as close to him. And I mean, maybe it's just because we're related, but mm-hmm. like I think it was also just like... He was there less, but when he was there, it was like, whoa, like, we like, yeah, made he's the a most presence. Of it. He's, he's a presence too. And... Yeah, Jeff's cool. You're going to love Jeffrey. We love Jeff. Shout out to <laughs> Jeff. I don't think he was a watcher. <laughs> and what about Claire? Is she like you? Claire's no good. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Claire's amazing. Claire's awesome. You guys are pretty similar. We are. We're so different, but, you know, she's an older child. But similar in but terms similar. of like humor, outgoingness levels. I mean, what I'm else? funnier and like probably <laughs> a little more talented. You don't have to cut that, but um, no, yeah, we're we're like yeah, very similar. Um, just so different. I don't. I don't even know. I don't even is know. It, is it just the two of you? Yeah, okay. I don't even know. What's like, the age difference? Three years. Three, okay. Nice. Mm-hmm. That's kind of between me and my next sister, and then between them too. Yeah, it's a good little gap. Good it's like gap. a perfect gap because, mm-hmm. like, we were in high school together. Was like, say, for she was a senior overlap. and I was a freshman. You know what I mean? And like, I'm, I actually miss my sister like that. But they—that was how they were, freshman, senior, mm-hmm. and then Kelly moved on one year before me. Mm. But yeah, yeah, it's it's like you're good because you know each other. You kind of look out for each other, but you're not like stepping on each other's toes too much because you're not, you know. Yeah, yeah one class close. apart or something. Yeah, one class is always interesting. Then sometimes you have twins. Like I feel like we had twins at our, twins at our school that were like not friends with each other. Yeah, you know, like Nikki brought up some twins. Like you remember these two, and they were like they had totally separate friend groups. Like they weren't even friends. It felt like the two of them. Which I is could see just, that. Like I couldn't have a twin. I like an identical twin. Yeah. Would it be a trip? That'd be fucking trip. nuts. That'd be a trip. And I'm like, am I the prettier one? Is she the prettier one? <laughs> yeah, who's am funnier? I the funnier? Yeah. How do people tell who's us more apart? Talented? What are they saying? What's what like are the, they saying? What's the thing that differentiates us? Yeah. Right. You know, there's always something. It's like, you know, that and one's got a bigger head. Con- or like- <laughs> the point being, you're constantly going to be compared, right? Yeah. And not only right. are you internalizing it yourself, but like, well, how does the world see us? Like, right. that would suck. Yeah. And imagine being the ugly twin. Mm-hmm. And you know it, and everyone knows. But imagine being the pretty twin. That I can imagine. Yeah, you know, like what if you you're an identical twin, but or not identical fraternal twin, and you're clearly yeah the better one. Yeah, that it's might feel good. I, I do think it's interesting <laughs> when it's like a different gender too to like yeah, see which ones weird. the genetic wor- genetics work better for. You know. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's like this is the girl version. Okay, is that out there? Yeah. yeah. I was like, fake. is it in here? <laughs> that was a sound effect I did too. <laughs> we do have sound effects on here. You want to yeah, hear them? I want to pump those buttons. <laughs> I forgot what they are. I wish I could. I love that. This a little applause, you know. This makes me see Amy Poehler. Or no, who's the... It's, no, it's the girl from SNL. Amy Poehler? Tina Fey? No, I don't. It's a different girl. Uh, oh, uh, uh, Kristen Wiig. No, no. You're thinking of the... The newer... the No, no. Not Kristen, Kristen Wiig either. The What's older one. It was like the Debbie Downer. The Debbie Downer sketch. You ever see that Debbie sketch? Debbie Downer sketch. She's and like everyone's at like Disney World like, boy, this is great. And she's like, yeah, like... Who's that? I just found out I can't have children. Yeah, who is and that? And then it goes... Wah, 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 wah. It's like, not it Sherry O'Terry. I honestly... But it's that genre that were that era yeah like early 2000s maybe spooky that's a spooky one <laughs> i got two more crickets in case you guys are boring never <laughs> let's take a trip back in time you know what's funny and spiteful um so <laughs> spiteful. in florida they're like waging war on disney world now disneyland is it right disneyland i uh, uh so what's happening 
So I don't keep up with Florida. Yeah, yeah I know. <laughs> I'm not like well versed on the situation, but I think the governor is like targeting the Disneyland Corporation there because they have a lot of tax breaks and a lot of support as a business there. But they've also been like really accepting and tolerant, and they're apparently there. It's basically indoctrination of like. I don't know everything. They don't like the way that they're like tolerant Cartoons? of the LGBTQ community or plus community. They don't like it. Like they're yeah. saying, "Hey, stop being like okay yeah. with gay people." And like influencing Disney kids doesn't? to be. Or is it more that's about the tax claiming. breaks? No, no. So that's why they're going after the tax breaks. And then I just saw another article tonight saying that they're literally now going after like the airspace above Disneyland because apparently. It was designated as like a no fly zone a long time ago mm. to like keep the magic going and whatever. <laughs> and it's just really funny. And uh, I mean, Disney is almost like a church. <laughs> yeah, in, now it is. In Florida. Yeah, it has know, a like, lot of rights, but now they're under attack because apparently they're too left leaning in terms of how they interact with their customers and staff. Well, they, I mean, if they're getting like less of these bullshit tax breaks and why can't a flame a plane fly over disney well and the claim was like this no fly zone should only be used for like national security reasons like it should and i don't disagree i don't I, i'm not sweating it and as soon as i read the article i was like this is so stupid like there's actually real news in the world and like yeah, Johnny Depp you know. and Amber Heard. Like, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah like exactly. Are you kidding Disney me? For like Don't not doing Don't distract us from <laughs> what's really going on here. Yeah, okay? that's so funny. Can't distract me with this. They're trying to talk about like Ukraine, Russia. I'm like, <laughs> out of this shit out of bed. <laughs> he got. He's got to yeah. stop staring at that desk all the time. You know, it makes him look guilty. Dude. Who, Depp? Yeah. Oh, yeah. you think he looks just guilty? Just to switch over. I'm just kidding. I was just making a joke. Just to switch over. I literally didn't go to bed till like 2.30 last night. I beat you. Because you were looking at this stuff. Mm-hmm. 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 See, yeah. And that's not I, that late, but I just was... That's late for like I've been diving. I've been keeping yeah. it at an arm. I know I know a little, but I that's how I am with the news a lot. I just know the little bit of the top of it. But you, <laughs> I, it, you fill in the it rest was so too. deep to where yeah, I'm like, like they're mad at Disney for being like gay. <laughs> 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 you know this? Like, maybe you read into it. it. You'll find out. I don't know. I'll, I always ask like a smarter person, like one of my brothers or something. Yeah. But um. <laughs> Wait. So Phil, I don't like, even like. What I is your take? Honestly, from I can't this? give you one because I have too okay. much information. Let me I, ask I, I did the same. I did a similar deep dive yesterday. I had moments where I was exporting a video, it was taking forever, and I was just like scrolling and into one thing or scrolling because deep dive into one concept is different i than just scrolling i don't know i don't know i don't know yeah, i mean I wonder, the it's fact the train he's wreck. looking down is a shit show yeah it's a clusterfuck like the hard thing is he's the most charming human they're both like one actors of the most charming the day, they're ever, both actors but he's better like oh, did you yeah, see no, her, her we deposition know or whatever it was not good not a good performance yeah <laughs> Like her mouth goes this way, and I can't. Yeah. Um, no, it's that so cringe. It's so cringe. But he is just being like the most charming, like the He's most not being Johnny Depp. You don't think so? No, I so? think when Up he there? testified, he oh, was I, I, very yeah. like, yeah, he was. You know, he spoke calm collective yeah, pause thought about okay. what he was. I haven't gonna watched say. any video. I've only read stuff about it. So. And her face oh, the entire time. Like, I've the, seen pictures. The sad thing it. is, is it's so publicized that like. I even saw that she like fired her PR team before she started to testify because they were like, oh shit, people are voting for him. Like Uh-oh. the whole internet's on his side. Yeah. And he probably Funny took away. That happens, huh? When he testified the whole time, she's like. <laughs> <laughs> like just these faces. Like so he's like, I'm going to doodle uh, this whole time because if I, you know, if you. You, everything is taken into account and i'm like how does that work in the court of law right like the jurors are not supposed to have phones right all that Mm-mm. sure i just like have a hard time believing that whatever yeah. and you're like i fucking love parts of the caribbean 
Right. This is Johnny Depp. Like, this is Willy so Wonka right here. Deep down, we want <laughs> Johnny Sizzi, Depp to be a good guy. It's also the same fucking creep that buried his wife and grew corn in secret window. Okay. It's yeah. Not all peaches that's true. And that's cream. true. That's true. Not, <laughs> not all peaches and cream. I just um. But my, just, what's your takeaway? Whose just, side are you on? Like my takeaway is that I just think Depp she, seems more. Yeah. No. More, I like just better than her. I don't know. Yeah. Even if they're acting, then he's acting better. <laughs> if they're both acting, he is a much better he actor. He definitely right. deserves more recognition from the Academy than he's received. Yeah. 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 He's not, he doesn't and have like, an And like, I can't believe she was ever in any movies. But he could very oh, well be. Big. We all agree well, universally that she's very hot. She, you don't think so? Not even, I'm not as She didn't look that cute up on the stand, but that mm-hmm. was, you know, the role she was I playing. I didn't think so. she was hot for the longest time. Then I heard about her pooping on the bed and I was like, hmm. <laughs> Girl, yes. yeah, and I love how the, 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 bed, you hear that? Know, the internet's yeah. like she ate a crunch wrap supreme before that, oh, and I'm God. like, why is that a detail? Yeah, but also, so that's how we it. know it wasn't those Yorkies. <laughs> I love how people will just like you know cut out these like memeable yeah. moments, and there's one where <laughs> maybe you haven't seen it. Like, the the attorneys are asking Johnny Depp, you know, like Johnny Depp's on the stand mm-hmm. or whatever, and they're like, uh, you know, so you got in like this sort of altercation with Miss Heard. And, you know, he's like, mm, and they're like, you know, and you're, um, you're much larger person than Miss Heard, wouldn't you say? And he goes, well, I wouldn't say that. And then her face is like, okay. Yeah. Thank you. Like, you know, cause he's like, oh, no, I wouldn't say. Yeah. I'm, and she even she's testifies. She's like, he's twice my size. And the whole internet's like same height, same yeah. frame, literally. Oh, funny. Yeah. It was just like a burn. He's just like, well, I wouldn't say that. That's kind of been the whole, um, essence of it is the whole thing is like everything she says and that's so my deep dive what i've found is you never know with the internet you know people are posting crazy shit but it just doesn't look good to her for her to me right now but i might have to let you guys know like you don't think she'll win or you don't think she deserves to win i i mean haven't they both neither. already lost? neither more so just like I do. I will say I I do know crazy manipulative women for Same. sure. Like that level of crazy who. <laughs> I just made a face. No, but I think we all do. Like no, I've you, we've outside. all experienced I've those crazy. women yeah. who like premeditate things mm. and sure. are, have the ability to like. Yeah, that's not. They're gender. not even. That's not they don't, gender they don't, exclusive. They don't, no, agreed, 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 Correct. agreed. But I'm just saying on the sense of like, yeah, the Me Too movement. We believe women totally on board with that and mm-hmm. we know it's true but also like i do get a vibe guilty. i do get a vibe that like maybe this is just staying up late and looking at shit. <laughs> i don't fucking know i get the same vibe. i mean i get the same vibe that. like she's an abusive chick yeah and i mean for me it was like hearing those audios where she's just like that high pitch screaming over talking him he My says goodness. one word and it's like Oh, go! You do it, you big man! You blah, blah, blah. and that's just like wild to me. Hmm. Anyways, whatever. Yeah, got we'll some, see. I got some more. It's only a couple hundred million dollars on the line, and like a couple careers. Well, but. yeah. If so, if I think his his defamation suit makes sense because mm-hmm. if she lied, because she she said like Johnny Depp abused me, they got divorced. She was like, I'm going to donate all the money I get from the divorce, which turns out she did not lied. do. She lied about. But in any case, if she did lie, I mean, that did cost him hundreds of millions of dollars because yeah. like he's not going to get another movie after if he's like the abuser. So like this trial is very important to him if he's, you know, obviously we don't know. Even if he wins, it's still going to affect his career. But I think it'll, it has a chance of saving it. The next Johnny Depp movie is going to explode. Oh, yeah. Next time he's in a movie after this. And Nobody's the only not gonna movie yeah, she's sure going to be in is... will be fine and hers will not. Yeah, One Girl, One Bed, that's and like that's the go. movie. No, I mean... Yeah, what, women like, are like women tarnished lose? more in these situations, I think, than men. Depends. We'll see what, how it I shakes mean, out. We'll I don't see know. who's acting. Did a man ever get... Accu- did, was there ever like a, a woman accused a man of abuse and his career got ruined and hers was fine? Because for a while, it was that way. Before this trial... Her career was fine. His was ruined. She was doing Aquaman. She mm-hmm. was fine. She was like, I got abused by Johnny Depp. 
and he was fucked. But also, and the point of this court case is to unfuck him. That's his goal, at least, because he feels he got unfairly fucked by her accusing him of abusing her. But even by unfucking with this whole court thing, it's still like there's still that there's still going to be those people yeah. who are like, mm, mm, you know? Yeah, I mean, you're na- like it's still bad energy whether it's uh whether you're guilty or not yeah that's still, true you're and tangled up in something that's not good for to be associated with so for sure and it does come out a little bit of like his drug addiction and shit but at the same time it's I like just, don't you kind of oh, want drugs is he doing i didn't read about that. well just like cocaine and smoke a lot of weed drinking a lot you know like he's just, just a drug addict it's like a fucking thursday night but it's johnny depp you know I'm you kind of want bam, bam. <laughs> <laughs> you kind of want like a scoundrel in a guy yeah, like that because he's like jack sparrow like yeah, so picturing him like drunk and like on drugs is like charming and so like but also there's an unfair balance definitely, definitely like that johnny depp is so fucking charming but trying to look through that i still think factually it, at least from what i'm seeing as i'm scrolling through fucking like tiktok he seems more much more credible i just like followed this instagram last night and it was like debunking every lie she said she said like oh i got beat this day and then they'd be like here's a paparazzi picture of her the next day Mm. and no bruises or none of this or like you know like that's when and and then i read another article where it was like johnny depp's team pr team is like the internet is crazy the way that they can manipulate like that they are creating bots and trolls Mm to push the agenda for him so it's like who knows right crazy and you don't think about that right you're like i'm following this because i agree right and were they like the- hey johnny if you spend 80 million dollars on like pr you're gonna win you know like maybe and like right. everyone's scrolling they're gonna see that she is crazy and that like maybe yeah maybe right. that's what happened yeah we just live in a weird time just don't say anything bad about anyone don't look at anyone don't talk to anyone <laughs> It, stay home yeah, keep your head down time. no i mean yeah. don't don't uh it is intense though i mean i'm not to be like the debbie downer girl cue the sound but like mm. you know no, wait i didn't it. i didn't say the sad thing yet either okay i just had to find it i'm okay, ready okay. get well, that toe one ready one of the toddlers and tiara's girls just I know. committed suicide at 16 i know i didn't know i was you doing that suicide yeah, play the sparkle go, one jackass. what the fuck you no, that is up. sad. That is no, very I know, sad. and it's like there's just so much information out there about how like damaging it is for budding minds and like adolescents and oh man, it's like I get the train wreck. I like to dive in and like enjoy the spectacle of it all, but it's problematic, I think, for young people to like but, spend as much. I mean, it's bad for everybody. She killed herself because of the Johnny Depp trial or just social media. In oh general? God, no, not that. Okay. It was just like I mean, there's no reason she was a child star. she was a child star yeah. a popular meme her whole life was about being liked online yeah that's really and like tough. i, I know, don't know what just, you do with that we're, we're like in creepy. sort of like kids are coming up soon mode yeah for the two of us and it's definitely like what do you do you know like my, you, my sister's not having her baby on the internet at all which is like hard i can't post pictures of my little niece but that's separate from like is she, is she going to be able to get her own phone in second grade? No, I doubt it. They're like trying to keep her off the yeah. internet yeah. as much as possible. Kids should have flip phones. It should be like you got. You, know, yeah, you gotta you be can't 16 have, you can text, to get a yeah. smartphone. You can't send call photos home. or like look at porn. No, you know? like no. You shouldn't have a phone where you can look at porn. I love how you go to a porn website and it's like, are you eighteen? And you're like, sure, yep. sure, <laughs> sure. <laughs> yeah, uh, sure. Now yeah. that we've established that, dude, like, yeah. honestly, are you able to click a button? I don't disagree with your sister on that sense. Um, but at the same time, it's the world we live in. And I you're know. like, you show your life, you share your world, you know, or at least and, what we want of we want right, of our world. Right, to be right, shared. right. Um, I don't know. I get it. I, I get it. I don't get it. And like, yeah. I do social media for a living and I literally am like the worst at it. Right. <laughs> like I hate it. There feels like there's so much pressure for a post. Like I'll oh post God. a story because I'm like, who gives a shit? Right. That's, Maybe, why, made, that's why they made the story because yeah. the post became such a like. It's so. Thing. It's yeah. It's it's it, it taxes my mental health for sure. Like mm-hmm. spending so much time scrolling on behalf of work, you know, mm-hmm. and like living in that world and 
waking up and like needing to check to make sure and it's also like that i've reached out to any new followers or like whatever on the the behalf it's like it's not how i would normally operate like my normal personal relationship with social media i think is a little bit more balanced Mm -hmm. but when it's with work yeah. I like take off that boundary because I'm like, oh, it's I'm supposed to be doing this. But you also, know? just to what you're saying, you're like, so for work, I have to engage and scroll and interact. And then I get home and for personal, I'm going to scroll, not engage mm-hmm. and continue. Like, yeah, you're, for me, that's where I'm at. I'm like, yeah. where do I stop this? Mm-hmm. Like there it's like the happiest i am in recent years is when i lose cell reception and i'm camping and there's that moment of like oh fuck like what am i gonna do and then i'm like fuck it for me for me there's that moment of like what if someone needs to contact me and i'm like no one needs to fucking contact me my favorite feeling yeah just to be like ah i'm you know what i'm just right here Mm -hmm. and like everything else is actually going to wait. Like, everything else is just... Yeah, like, what would you do if this was the 80s? You know, like, you can't call me. You know, yeah. like... I'll call you from Everything was fine. Down, everything was fine week. in the I'll 80s. I'll see you when I see you. <laughs> I'll see you when I see you. I'll call you when I'm I gonna get I'm going to go service, get some you know? more Coke. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like... Uh, I don't know. I untethering a, from the phone is, is it's huge. It's rough. And, oh, like... It, go ahead. Oh, I'm just thinking of I, Elon Musk and, like, his idea of buying Coca-Cola. I thought He's I got a kick Coca-Cola? out of that too. Or he was, he, joking. Was talk- he was joking about buying Coca Cola so he could put yep. the cocaina back in it. Cocaina. <laughs> there it was. <laughs> Another good tablet. But then, like, what? He's just like a. a but that was just a joke, he said. He's joking. He's joking. Because he just I bought just, Twitter. So he's like, next I'm going to buy Coca Cola and put the cocaine back in it. It's kind of funny. I don't think he's joking. Oh, you I, think he'll do I it? I honestly wouldn't be surprised if he he if he's he like, let's get in. these people back to work. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. We need more Teslas faster. In this <laughs> Tesla factory, it'll be unlimited Coca Cola. <laughs> That's the key. Oh my God! I never. It's you're connecting the dots. Well, I still didn't look this up. And maybe and then Teslas wait. are gonna run on Coca Cola. Oh, they run. Well, we're not gonna Coke. waste wow. the good Coca Cola. Do you know that I heard this? I can't tell you if it's true or false, but I once heard that they carry around containers like huge gallon containers and stuff of coca-cola on ambulances to get blood off of the street when like there's an accident on the road and stuff the mm. acid just like yeah like washes it, it away lifts it up oh coca-cola yeah just yeah like it's like a, a solvent oh mm-hmm. it's ma- incredible yeah it'll yeah. like clear pennies it'll like dissolve off. a steak yeah, right and people and drink you're, that like, drinking it every day some people it's like are how, you guys soda drinkers no. i mean i like soda don't get me wrong i don't drink i'd never buy it but like i'm obsessed with carbonate like i love sparkling water yeah. i drink so much sparkling water but that I'm is into way it. different way than different soda. but i used to love soda Oh, and I still, I mean, I enjoy it. I grew for up me, like, loving soda. Soda yeah. was you a mean daily pop. pop. Yeah, yeah. Pop, drinking pop, some, drinking pop. orange crush and squirt. Squirt, I love squirt That's so too. funny. In Texas, everything is a Coke. That's everything's so a Coke. Funny. I want a Coke. Like, it doesn't matter yeah, if it's Dr. Soda. Pepper. Or, so you said, like, I want a Coke. It wasn't until I went like, to college. Okay, you like, You're like, no, I'm in a Dr. Pepper, bitch. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, in college, people were like, you say soda? Soda. Soda? I'm like, what do you say? What did they say? Like, I don't know, pop, I guess. But you said pop. You didn't grow up saying pop. You said soda. I think I said soda. It's funny how like <laughs> soda, pop? soda. You guys one, are both wrong. <laughs> soda one is like the I'm, I'm the cooler thing to say. Crisis. Pop is like, oh, like you say pop. That's weird. What did I say? I don't know. I mean, in the Midwest, it was pop, you know, like, but family to family is different. You know, family like, to family is different. Was, uh, yeah. That's wild. Like I, I did not drink sodas growing up. Mm. and it's, it's weird like i don't drink them mm-hmm. i mean i love a dr pepper if i'm hungover you know but yeah occasionally i'll do it like with fat like fast food yeah like it used yeah. to be that's like, like a treat moment yeah but. a treat exactly yeah. like in oh but people are like, in an out beer. burger and i need a soda yeah, to yeah. 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 in that styrofoam cup fuck yeah oh yeah that was my jam but then i gave up hamburgers yeah. no. And kind of the Coke, the soda went with it, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I don't know, it's wild to me that people drink so... I don't give a shit if it's diet. Like, you... Diet's worse. And just people who are just like, I gotta have my so Like, three a day? That's fucking crazy to Um, me. Three a day? day I feel like people drink way more than that. And people drink, like, mad red bulls. Like, I'm like, I have water. 
maybe a coffee and then i'm like and maybe i'm just sensitive i don't know no i mean well I mean, you can you get real fucking jolty on coffee also, or even on though, tea you know but like yeah it's not the caffeine that in the soda that's the problem right it's the sugar it's the fucking right. sugar I understand, like, I understand. Uh, but also true to the human syrup, body cough syrup what is it is tolerance and yeah. you do get used to what like you give your body you totally know? right like when but we i've were, seen like on the mtv shows they'll be like real life i drink a case of soda a day and you're like what is it a 24 pack of mm-hmm. stuff Coke? no they're like a costco case it's like <laughs> <what>? yeah, a <laughs> pallet <laughs> I'm sorry, what? But when we were kids drinking a lot more soda, were we unhealthy? Like, I feel like... I think the standards of health were different. But when I was 11, I was pretty healthy. Yeah, you also, like, played outside, climbed trees for, like, 14 hours before you came in and had one Coke, you know? It's so wild. Yeah, that's true. Your metabolism is, like, faster. and So it's really, like, for adults, soda is really bad it's just I mean, bad for it's everyone bad for everybody sure. it's 22 grams of sugar your teeth. which like, like think is a teeth. pile of sugar but that i mean i drank it all my teeth are pretty good hands like the, you could fill your, my whole hands with sugar and I that's know, what you're I, drinking. I agree that's the problem but i remember being a kid in the 90s drinking a lot of soda and i picture that kid who's pretty healthy kid yeah so what's yeah. that What's that all about? I mean, honestly, you can still <laughs> be healthy there. and eat badly from time to time. It's kind yeah. of about balance and making sure your body gets good stuff and not just the bad stuff. If you also health is just a wild, right? Like I literally am eat the healthiest that everyone out of everyone I work with. Everyone's like, "Oh my god, you made this salad! How'd you oh, do, it? girl? You made these pickles!" What literally the fuck? and like. I work out, I Zumba four times a week. Nice. Wow. They're all these tiny little bitches eating cheeseburgers and doo doo. And fat. I'm like, skinny fat girls. Oh, I hate you guys. Hmm. It's weird, you know? Yeah. Like, even on sodas, like, I never, my mom, I was or, the organic kid when I was young. I fucking hated it. Yeah, like spritzer or what was it? What do you mean? Like, what was the, <laughs> instead of soda, what did you have around the house? Water. Water. Ah. <laughs> it's the fuck are you water. talking about? <laughs> oh, no water remember water. that he, he, like here's an example so you were the healthy house with the boring food i'm the healthy the house where i'm the chubby kid is <laughs> all the pirate i'm saying booty. i'm the organic you know the, and the i'm the bunnies. tupperware kid you know i go to i'm like mom i just want a fucking lunchable and Can she's I get a like block bag mom she, i'm the tupperware kid i have a tupperware of cheese that she cut into squares a couple of, a tupperware of turkey she cut into circles and a tupperware of crackers oh, she's and like how you. beautiful and like how beautiful really looking yeah. back but also i'm like i get home and she's like where's her third tupperware and i'm like i don't fucking know I love it. you know and like i don't want to be the weird kid i don't want to be the weird kid and it's like nowadays it's like yeah. if you bring the lunchable you're gross mm-hmm. but it's mel b was ahead of the time in that sense but mel b you had just, your very own mel b mm-hmm, huh? mm-hmm. cool Wait, what do you mean like spice girls what like but what about Mel B? She has her own Mel B. Like my mom's name is Mel B and there's a Spice Girl. Like Your mom is Mel B. Spice. Not the Mel B, but she- the Mel B. <laughs> Mel B, the original. The original. The oh, less shit. scary Mel B. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Because what's B? What's the B for? Brown. Brown. My last name. That's right. I forgot That's about this. You Brown. stupid. Proper last That's name. <laughs> you dummy. I love fucking accents. I'm not oh, even good. Oh, shit. We, like... When we were setting up, and Christine's like, "Oh yeah, it's a bit something," like, and you were like, "Yeah, you be you know, turn the lights on or whatever." Like, we talk in those accents. I knew all instantly the time. we were good. I was like, "Okay, yeah. great." Like you picked up on the accent right away. You started saying it. I I felt good too at that moment. I feel like accents stick with us so much. They're so fun. I get, we I get we hang out with our Argentinian over. friends. We went to Mexico with them like two and a half years ago. It feels like, and we still <laughs> just like have moments where we just kind of talk. Like them a little bit, you know, and like Christine watches like British shows. See, and that's my problem. And we just talk about like that. That's my time. problem, though, is like if if I meet someone, I don't, and they have an accent, I eventually am gonna start speaking back to them, like mimicking it, and mm-hmm. it's like so rude because obviously I sound probably like just a huge asshole, but in my head, I'm like, oh yeah, right, yeah, <laughs> it's like it's right, not, yeah, right. or like whatever the Aussie, I, right. ca- I cannot do, and, they're like, you and want, then you always want, it goes yeah. like unfortunately bad asian or some jamaican like you sure. just i can't help it like i just yeah. don't have a taste for it but i'm not particularly i do it. love to like try i love <laughs> accents accents are great they're so cool and they're funny like accents are funny i'm sure my accent is funny too to people 
Yeah. Who yeah. don't have my accent, you know? Yeah. But I'm just saying all accents are pretty fun and funny, you know? It's interesting, yeah. And yeah, I absorb them too. Like when we would visit family in Canada. Oh, God. I like would by just like, like day three, <laughs> they're like, hey, we're going to go uh, make a fire. And I'd be like, oh, a fire, eh? Oh, good. Right on. Oh, yeah. get the w- oh okay. <laughs> Let me grab a beer and I'll be I'll, I'm right behind you. You know, like, and right I just, behind you. I'm not even trying. I know. It just comes out. Cause like I just am I wonder absorbing what that it. is. It's like this. I don't know what that is. It's almost like an evolutionary tool like, to evolve, yeah, like adapt to, be, to your surroundings yeah. and to fit in. Mm-hmm. Like you don't want to be the one that, especially, I mean, nowadays it's different, but like a thousand years ago, you don't want to be the one that where they're like, Oh, where are you from? You know, like mm-hmm. you want to fit in. You want to, be able you don't to, trust the new guy. Nobody know? trusts the new guy. Nobody, nobody. trusts the outsider. Mm-mm. I mean, Mm-mm. even now we kind of like viscerally have like an objection to outsiders yeah, sometimes. That would be called xenophobia. Mm. Yeah, but it's also just, it's like <laughs> sort of we evolved to be this way. You know, like it's yeah, in our tribalism DNA. I never thought about it. The tribalism. In that sense. Yeah. But like, so I don't know. I, I got to assume it comes from that. Yeah, yeah, I think tribalism. so. I'll think so. I think maybe. <laughs> proper, I think, think that's my favorite. Proper, I proper think, I I think, think it's proper good. I think the I F is the T is I think my that favorite. Might be yes, it. For, yeah, yeah. Like, we I do that. Like, like I think we make popcorn just, and watch so this. Funny. Watch a movie it, in the bed. It's like depends on what I'm watching. Like, am I watching like Love Is Blind? Am I watching British Bake Off? Like, what's happening in my world definitely depends on you how I'm talking around the house. You got all goodies in that bag, huh? I got an apple. You got an apple, apple. a Pellegrino, apple, and another beer. Hey, lovely. What are these beers hey. you're drinking? You want? Well, I'll, just, I'll try a sip of one. Yeah. You good lager. I respect it. I don't know. I tried lager. it, and it was, it's like a, I tried Stone. it. I tried it at the Grove once at a, like a brewery, and it, uh, not a brewery. I don't know. A little shop. Whatever a you bar? Think. Nah, it's like, well, yeah, it's a, a bar. Liquor store? Shop. It's a bar, but you know the Grove little mar- farmer's market? Mm-hmm. It's like a little stand, but it was a bar stand cute but it's like a salt try it y'all can have that it's delicious one. it's like a mexican lager i like it mm-hmm. it's cinco de mayo that's right i got another one you can share oh we'll split this one split. so how are you liking living in los angeles that was California? my question Dude, i yeah. love it i feel nice. like it's in the longest year but the slowest year at the same i mean those are the same thing <laughs> <laughs> right, it's been the quickest but also the least slow <laughs> <laughs> no um it's it's an it was an adjustment when I first got here. I will say financially, I've never had more shit come at me. Whether it's parking tickets, mm. than the boot from not paying the parking tickets. Um, I got rear-ended like three months ago. My car was total. I literally am driving around like shit like that. Like I'm, I'm like oh, help me. That shit I hate. Yeah. Other than that, I love the opportunities because I know that there is probably a million restaurants i haven't eaten at that's a million truth. spots i haven't gone to you know what i mean and to like that was part part of why i moved here i was like i want a little more nature and i want um <laughs> wow it's not why i thought people moved out no i mean i mean <laughs> but it, it, does it make is sense. it's got the you hikes got, you got the hikes you get the hike, ocean you like camp, yeah like in many a national yeah, yeah, yeah. parks with so the drive. you can drive like 20 minutes and you're like are we in we a, we a hiked to a right. waterfall right. recently. I yeah. mean, it's amazing. I want to go there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. we can take you. It's Let's only twenty it. minutes from here. <laughs> Look at that. What part of the city are you in? Mid Wilshire. I don't know where that is. Uh, that's <laughs> like um, I, I'm not really sure no where it is either. That. Can you can you put that in context? Mid Wilshire, kind of near K Town, then. Ish, yeah. K Town, like, um, ish. Tra- no, town. Yeah, it's this way. Okay, like Beverly Hills. Further east of Beverly 15 Hills. Fifteen minutes from Beverly Hills. East. I don't We're know. East you Beverly. take Wilshire. Um, yeah, Wilshire and and you just head third. East. I don't know Third Street and Wilshire. No, wait, hmm. those are. Yeah, yeah. So I know you came from work tonight, but I'll be curious to see what your drive is home. We should figure it out. It's like thirty. Like, minutes. are you the girl I call when I go to the beach towns? Are you the girl I call for the hike to the waterfall? I mean, go get Botox what kind of girl do you want to be? I'm. I'm <laughs> Yo, I'm all of the. I'm literally like down to be all those girls. Okay, cool. But um, <laughs> I can't promise that I can be any of them. Hey, but no, no, I really am, like. I'm down. I, I'm I'm really down to do anything because I will say like, unfortunately, this job has taken up a lot of more time, energy, mind than I anticipated in a sense, and I don't get to do as much of the crazy fun stuff as I thought I was going to originally mm-hmm. moving out here. Mm-hmm. 
jobs can kind of swallow you up yeah and like LA. i'm re i'm realizing that and i'm like trying to figure out next maybe not next step like i'm i don't i'm happy here at the moment but i'm it's not going to be a forever yeah maybe what if you guys hired a second person and then the load is totally. like less on you you know well i think my boss is going to be preoccupied with other things so i think i'm gonna have the opportunity it's crazy because i'm like i want to do what i do but not just for one person i'm like how can i go out on my own and offer this service make a shit ton more money yep enjoy it more you just got to go remote to do the same work that's like the only client i have right now is a remote gig mm -hmm. so then i can in theory get more clients yeah i don't know i'm just i'm learning that uh i don't know if i was ever not motivated enough but like not driven what is the word for like on top of my shit enough to like go off on my own then mm. it's like that's a little bit scary because like i if i don't if i don't have a job and i don't finish it then i don't get paid and mm -hmm. i can't pay rent and i can't do this whereas is you know i have a steady paycheck right the, but, the rewards are way higher though totally and i i, I, but think, I, see, I think i'm real, like i want to get a dog i'm 30 years old i should be able to get a dog i've always wanted a dog i haven't gotten a dog because it's going to be so spoiled i want to be able to i don't want to leave it home for six hours a day right walk it time for bed like no and i don't want to hire someone to do that mm -hmm. you know what i mean mm -hmm. so i'm trying to f i'm learning what it is i want but this job got me out here so i'm kind of thankful to them and I'm of there's definitely still like connections to be made and things to figure out yeah and i mean getting lost in the job in la is just part of how you move through la and like move up you know like you got this job you it swallowed you up but like you're crushing it yeah and like you've shown your value yeah now you're gonna leverage that to get into a, and like, also, reposition yourself to where you're still kicking ass but you're like i don't want to work so much totally mm -hmm. they're like oh wow well she's amazing so we should probably do what she says you know like yeah and i mean yeah, i talk to this guy he's fucking good at yeah this yeah yeah this is what you do I, this at least what i mean this is what i've sort of been doing i guess you know like i first started working for a youtube channel and it just swallowed me up i was like living for it which was great because i kicked ass at it and i was able to like level up from it then i got right. into this other gig like yeah it's kind of swallowed me up now and now i'm trying to reposition that like you know i have a different relationship with it but like yeah it's just kind of no and i get that like that was the level up though it was like i did two years in plastic surgery in dallas out of nowhere and then i leveled up mm -hmm. to yeah. the love, highest level essentially yeah that it could go so this chapter is either gonna like it's gonna end at some point as far as that uh aspect but i'm like what is the next level up i don't know but this job i think will help with that mm -hmm. you know what i mean and i don't know what's next but yeah i think doing it on my own eventually we'll see that'd be cool, cool. maybe you can I'm, I'm just spitballing but maybe you could like hire someone to kind of like be your number two at that office you slowly step back you're just kind of a supervising role at that mm -hmm. point now you could get another you could be like the main person somewhere else while you're supervising that yeah I love then that here idea. you get someone to replace you now you're supervising two people Mm -hmm. you know like then you move in yeah. a new gig get someone in there i love that then you're supervising three people like i don't know i feel like you're the type of person if you put yourself in a little over your head you're gonna figure it out mm -hmm. you know so oh, it's like yeah it's like oh my god that's so scary like if i don't succeed i don't eat when you're in that position you yeah. will succeed no i know and, and i like eat. kind of thrive on that like exactly. i get bored and i'm like what's next mm -hmm. yeah. you know like even right after i got out here and i was like okay <laughs> yeah where are the cameras for me now <laughs> right yeah exactly not that i'm interested i don't think that's for me but we'll, well see we'll see i think you're a very entertaining podcast guest so well, this could be the start of something degree. really great i have to go potty go for it uh, are you guys going to be able to hear it oh we, no. let's just end the show actually let's, let's end it's, the we've been show. going for uh, this is that the end we can't end on that we can't let all end. right all right let's end let's on see. um <laughs> Let's just sit here. We'll look each other in the eyes and we'll pee our pants. <laughs> <laughs> Never done. been done. Never been done on the show. <laughs> we do like a first on, on each episode. No, but this is cool. This, uh, I, we've been going for an hour and 17 minutes. How long do you go for? Usually, Usually like an hour. An, well, uh, it does range. It, but like, I feel like we try to keep it to an hour, but it definitely goes over sometimes. And sometimes, rarely it's under, I yeah. would say. 
So but, I'm above average, you're saying? You're, definitely you're above, above average. average. This was a highly entertaining I hour. Think, I think maybe... Y'all are about to blow I up. I think in my mind... <laughs> this is it. This is our big this episode. Was like, this is our big break. <laughs> we're going to level up. Yeah. We're like, we, we should reach out. We should reach out. Like, she's new to town. We got to reach out. I'm just so glad we finally took the should out and actually got Me together. Too. I'm so glad I didn't drive out here last fucking Thursday, too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> was there was a miscommunication. And I was <laughs> oh, like... Because first I was like, what about Saturday? And he's like, ah, Saturday's no good. He's like, all right, how about Thursday? Mm. And, and so... I was like, yeah, I'll be there. I did not specify, <laughs> but I meant the next Thursday, yeah. you know, the one after that. And it's what's funny is I was like, send me your address. And he's like, here's my address. Oh, and, so you have it a week in advance. Right, and a week in advance. And, so, and I, anyway, thank Thursday. God I texted and was like, yeah. yo, I'm going to... I just got home. I'm about to head there. So I was like, oh, shit. I Ooh, meant next Thursday. Yeah, good yeah. call. Good, but good then call. were you... Uh, was that a relief? Were you like not... Oh, oh no, yeah, it was good. I was okay, yeah. I was. I always kind of like when people cancel. So oh, I love it, right? Because it's like, oh, I'm like you, asshole. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh, bummer. Okay. It's yeah. Like, we gotta reschedule. Sweatpants back on. Yeah. 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 I mean, I'm the queen of like, I'm almost there. But I just got out. out the shower. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. About just, to be there. About to leave. I will about say, to. I'm learning. It is so rude because if someone does that to me, I'm like, where the fuck are you? How can you do this to me? So I'm really learning how to respect other people, their time. Mm. Really? Sure. Like, you know what? Paul says this to me all the time. He says, I'm just, I'm just managing expectations. Mm. And it's a phrase that I've grown to count on over, over these years. You know, it's just like, if I know you're going to be late, it's easier for me to be like, all right, I've got 15 minutes to go. Yeah. Or, you know, like you can, you can make the most of it. You have like a little bit of choice in the matter. But mm -hmm. if you don't, it's just easy to get agitated. Yeah, I, I think the worst is to say like, I'll be there on seven on the dot. And then it's like, oh, hey, it's 710. Like, are you close? And then you're like, oh, pretty close. Be there soon. And then it's like, you're not there till like eight. Right. Versus, hey. Which is like. I'm going to be like an hour late. Mm -hmm. Traffic is crazy. Mm -hmm. It's like dope thanks for the heads up like that means i can i'll and have a snack i'll that's relax even how like, I was that's tonight better. i was like shit i feel so bad but i knew i was running behind i was like fuck like i don't i don't want to text and tell you i'm running late because i feel guilty but at the same time oh no, that's what right? it's all about Isn't the better? open communication it's better like, no it's I'm so be much late. better it's easy and i didn't even notice i was like I looked at the clock and it was 7.48 and I was like, oh shit. And he's like, oh yeah, she got stuck in traffic. I'm like, oh. Also, I was like, we put this shit off for a minute. It's okay. Are you kidding? You right. came we can to make, Oregon. We can wait 40 more minutes. <laughs> we are so, we are thrilled to have you. Thank you for driving over. You faced Thank you guys. the traffic. You fought the I don't even know how I'm going to get demons. home. I can't afford gas, but <laughs> uh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you need a ride. I feel that? like you need to go to the stand up night, the open Actually, mic night. I've really been thinking that I would kind of want to do it. Do What's it. it like two, like two minutes, three minutes? What's the, but, well, I mean, you've got material. I haven't done that much, but there are some open mics where you pay $5 for a five minute set. It sounds so long, but like, I think, you know, no, I have five like, minutes goes the, a little the quick. The yeah. bit could go at least yeah. two you minutes. You tell a story. Like, no, I'm saving them for the Netflix show. <laughs> yeah. no, start working on it now. Like, yeah. for me, it out. at least what I've learned to stand up, just, just tell an interesting story. Yeah. Cause like, if you're at a party and you start telling a story about being an au pair, you're going to make it funny. Yeah. You're yeah. going to get yeah, laughs yeah, yeah, yeah. when you tell a story yeah, I can to read a, a bunch of people. Yeah, you can read and know so, like. Just tell them a story and your natural inclination inclination to be like funny is going to come out. Mm, okay. And if you tell that story 10 times, the 10th time, it's even funnier because like you've done it over and over on right. stage, you know, but you so, should totally just where is up. this? Yeah, let me know. I'm in. I'll let you know. I, I haven't gone in, in a while, but I'll let you know about this one. It's called Fourth Wall mm -hmm. Comedy. You have five bucks. To There's also front. a place near yeah. us. I'll front that you I five. Trying to, yeah. <laughs> I'll support your career. I got five. We'll on get a GoFundMe going. I got five on it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're almost to that five dollar. Actually, ever since my car got totaled, I got a settlement. So killer. Good. Hey. She balling. All right. We're gonna let you we pee. Yes. We're gonna let, let you guys take a pee. Thank you. I gotta pee. Thanks, fans. At J C L E B. Nice. Yeah, <laughs> what else can we promote? See me at four walls and Catch yep. her there. Yeah. That's it. Catch her there. Bra. Love it. Bra. And also my pickle business. I'm thinking like yeah, deal, deal with it. Deal, <laughs> deal, with, deal with just deal with dilf it. Dilf me. Just deal with it. <laughs> the dilf. The dilf. 
The pickle I'd like to dill. Mm. Mm. Or, yeah, like it's been, Mm. my last name's Brown and someone was like, the brown pick. It's like, like. Ooh, brown pickle. mm. No pick, just like. Brown pick. Pick, like dick. Oh, yeah. Brown pick, dick. Brown dick. Ah. What if you just call it brown dick? (laughs) Catch my pickle penis. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> I don't know. All right. Good night, everybody. Thank you so much. Good night.